Okay guys, it's your boy Ryan Thomas here and today we're going to be talking about owning an iPhone 6 in 2016. Well it's like owning one considering the prices are dropping and they're getting much cheaper and they're very very relevant phones as we'll get into them. So to preface this kind of video, I'm not going to be talking all that much about specs, I will kind of reference them but this isn't about specs, this is purely of my opinion of owning one of these devices in 2016. Now talking about build quality, I did have one, I had to sell my iPhone 6 due to some build issues but I'm sure that's not to do with Apple. But let's get into the build quality, so it's basically a solid unibody uh, construction, so it's like one solid piece of aluminium on the back and then a solid bit of glass on the front, which is really really good. It screams build quality but at the same time it's not very ergonomic. You've got a flat back and a very, very slippery material, meaning that you kind of need a case to be able to grip onto it unless you have some crazy kind of magnet hands. And I wouldn't recommend <clears throat> not having a case on this. And if you're going to go the extra bit further and buy the 6 Plus, definitely put a case on it because everything that makes the iPhone 6 slippery is magnified on the iPhone 6 Plus. Okay, I want to tell you about something. Since I did sell my iPhone 6, I actually have a Nexus 4 right here running Cyanogen mod. Uh, it's a Nexus 4, but it is running Marshmallow uh, due to Cyanogen. But the one thing I miss from the iPhone on that, the cameras. The iPhone 6 has the most amazing camera. For some reason, I just my phone just is absolutely terrible with the camera. The camera, I didn't realise how much I actually used it. I always used my camera. Uh, that's the front facing and the rear facing camera. So I basically, as soon as I got this phone and saw my other one, I stopped using Snapchat because photos were just so blurry and it was such a, like, you know, 5 FPS viewfinder. It's just not good. But the iPhone 6 had such great cameras and that's still relevant in 2016. Okay, so they can't shoot 4K video, but they can shoot 240 FPS slow motion which is more than most phones can do right now. Performance, is it good? Well, with iOS and the insane amount of optimization that goes on, the iPhone 6 is still very, very snappy, really, really good performer. Even though it's still a dual core, it's insanely fast, and I would recommend it. If you're thinking about, you know, hang-ups and, and skips and, and, and glitches, this is not gonna happen on the iPhone 6. The iPhone 6 is a smooth sailor. Battery life, again, due to iOS being amazingly well optimized, the iPhone 6 can last days if you wanted to, or, you know, just a single day, which is good, to be honest, because, you know, i am got into the phase now where I've just started to just charge my phone every night, got into the pattern of it, which is what most people do. So you're not going to need more than one day, but it should last a full day, despite its 1800 mAh battery. The screen, again, something really, really good. It's just over 720p and just proves that you do not need higher resolution screens. I think I touched upon this in a review that I did for another channel of the iPhone 6. But no, it really just shows you don't need higher resolution screens. 320 ppi is enough. The OS, iOS, is still great and I kind of miss it. I've got Android and I love the amount of customization you can do. I mean, I just put an, a, a custom operating system on this. Um, my friends have done that. They put custom kernels on their on their phones. It's amazing. But iOS just, you know, it's got that simplicity. You know, it's got that charm that Android just doesn't. And then there's the price. Like I said, you can pick up a good one for near enough £300 now, which is still a very, very good price. Uh, I was actually walking through town with my friends Harry and Rob. Harry is the one who's lent me the G3 as well as the Irulu V3, so he, he's responsible for allowing me to do those videos. But we were walking up through town and we saw a Galaxy S6 on sale. Like, I didn't realise it was a Galaxy S6. It wasn't an Edge, it was an S6. And it was on there for £270 in, you know, a, a high street shop. And I was thinking, that's an insane deal considering it's all fully working and everything. So if you were to go for a phone around that price point, remember there are the Galaxies and they're very, very good. I would go as far to say they're probably better than the iPhone. But the iPhone 6 is just, if you love iPhones, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5S are the ones to go for. The iPhone 6 should cost you about £300, the iPhone 5S should be 250 But this isn't a video about the 5S, this is a video about the 6. So would I own one? I, if someone were to trade this, uh, like if someone was to straight up go, I'll have your Nexus 4 if you give me an iPhone, you know, if I give you an iPhone 6. I'd probably say yes. Not because I want the iPhone, but because the cameras aren't very good on this. And if you guys know me, I'm a complete camera nerd and I love cameras. But I'm not missing it. I'm not missing it as, a, as much as I thought I would. The cameras, yes, oh my god. 
the rest of the phone, I think I prefer my Nexus 4, which is basically ancient by today's standards, but is amazing in its own right. If you want to see the video to my Nexus 4, by the way, there'll be a link in the description and hopefully somewhere on the screen. If there isn't, that's because I haven't figured it out, but there should be a link in the description to my Nexus 4 video. Guys, if you're new around here, please subscribe. You know, we're growing quite quickly. Um, obviously, we're still on 220 subscribers, but we want to build ourselves up. Please drop a like on the video and leave a comment because the more interactions, the higher up on the ranks this uh, video will be and then the more people will be able to know my views on the iPhone 6 in 2016. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been your boy, Ryan Thomas, from failtech.co.uk and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.